Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Sunderland career mode. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be going back to the three-game format, which I have for these episodes. Now we are out of the journey transfer window. We are able to play three matches in today's episode, the first of which is against Stoke City, then Everton in the league, and Manchester City also to, th uh, to finish things off and uh, hopefully get ourselves some decent results in today's episode. You will have noticed so far that um, obviously there's no face cam in today's episode. I'm not in the, in the top line of this uh, episode. I will be back next episode though with face cam. Uh, but yeah, we will crack on with today's episode. First things first though, uh, for all the Sunderland fans watching uh, Sad Times in real life for you, you've just been relegated in case you've not realised. We are actually doing pretty well in the league, uh, complete contrast to Sunderland in real life. Uh, we are actually doing pretty well at the moment. We've got this game in the FA Cup against Stoke City uh, to kick things off with. Uh, the game isn't quite nicely separated in today's episode, so the squads will be pretty strong throughout. Uh, but this is the I'm going to go with for the opening game in today's episode. Manano starts in goal because it's a cup game, so there's one or two tweaks here and there. Gomez at right back, Kone, Gilabodji and Taylor all in defence. Then we've got Paddy McNair and Kessie as my holding midfielders. Yanazai is my right mid. Lenz is my left mid with Kazri in behind Jermaine Defoe. And yeah, that is the side I'm going to go with for the game against Stoke City. Before we get into the match, though, if we could try and hit 75 likes in today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel or maybe you just haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be absolutely fantastic. Let's crack on with things in today's episode. Hopefully get ourselves into the next round of the FA Cup. Um, potentially got Peter Crouch up against his old club here um, if we were to bring him off the bench which we might do, I'm not really too sure yet, uh, depends if we need it in this game, um, but yeah, we'll wait and find out how we get on, let's try and get a cup run going. Okay, here we go, we are away for this match in the cup, hopefully this side we've picked is going to be good enough for today's game, um, we've obviously gone with a pretty strong side, bar one or two players that have come in to rotate the team a little bit, so I'm hoping we get a good performance, we obviously don't want any injuries as well by putting out such a strong team, it could obviously affect us in that department, hopefully that is not the case though, and that uh, we are able to see this game out pretty comfortably. That's the aim. Um, we're just hoping that we can put in a good performance. Bonnie to shoot. Oh my days. We are losing this game 1-0. Inside the first seven minutes, Wilfred Bonnie has just smashed it from outside of the box and it's flown past Manone into the back of the nets. The first shot of the game has resulted in a goal. Not a good start for us here. Bonnie giving a little bit too much space on the edge of the box. Gilabaji trying to close down. Doesn't do a good enough job and it flies in the back of the nets. What a start for Stoke City. We're losing this game 1-0. We've got uh, a little bit uh, of time obviously still left in this game. Plenty of time, in fact, really, uh, to try and get back into the match. But not the start we're after. Defoe onto Yanazai. Struggling to uh, get the ball into the box at the moment. Because obviously we're not blessed with much height in this current side. But we are getting the ball constantly out wide here. Uh, which is not ideal with Jermaine Defoe in the box. So uh, we might need to adjust the way we're playing, uh, because at the moment we're not really finding any routes through the middle, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but really controlling possession, keeping it in their half for the most part of this match so far. Just every time the option's out wide, and we don't really have anybody else to play it into in the middle. Kazri will turn, and he'll shoot. It's a good save, and it'll go out for a corner. So, so close there to an equalising goal. Probably should be an equalising goal, but it's right at Butland who saves. And out for a corner. Kazri to deliver. Who's he going to pick out here? Oh, off the line. Wow, it's a very close one. Kone will try and hit it. No idea who made the initial header, though. What a delivery. And uh, I think it's Glenn Johnson that's cleared off the line in the end. Hits one post. Was nearly going to go across the line. But Glenn Johnson just about prevents it from happening. Remains 1-0. Very, very lucky. We should at least be equalising at this point. But we've not managed to take our chances. Uh, lacking a little bit of luck in that case, but, you know, we'll keep going. I'm confident we will get ourselves a goal if we keep with this amount of pressure. Half-time, still losing this game 1-0. A little bit disappointing because we have actually played very, very well for the first 35 or 40 minutes, um, but we've just not managed to get ourselves a goal yet. So, a little bit disappointing, um, but again, I'm just a little bit concerned by the fact we're getting the ball out wide so often. We just don't have the option in the middle, uh, which is obviously a bit frustrating, but uh, we might have to look to change that pretty early on in the second half if that continues. Uh, and it might be Peter Crouch to come on to try and give us something a bit extra uh, going forward in the middle. Bit of presence up front. Hopefully uh, that will be able to improve us. But uh, a good chance here for Panic McNair. Might have to wait for Jermaine Defoe and pulls it back. And Defoe gets blocked. It's a shame because uh, we've not had too many opportunities like that. 
This time, though, we're just uh, unable to get a proper shot away. Okay, all three changes now. Obviously, a change of formation as well, as you can see here. We're going to kind of go to a five-at-the-back type thing, uh, a 5-3-2 type formation. We're going to bring in Moreno, Gibson, and Peter Crouch, and we'll take off Charlie Taylor, uh, also Kasari, and Paddy McNair as well. So a few changes here and there. Um, Lenz is going to play as a right wing back. Um, not ideal, but we're going to give it a go anyway. We'll go with the uh, three centre-backs there playing uh, with Kessie just in front of them. Darren Gibson plays alongside Yanez as a centre-mid pairing. It's a little bit different, but we're going to go with it. Dwayne Defoe up front with Crouch, who's obviously going to hopefully have some opportunities to head the ball in the back of the net. 30 minutes to try and change things around here, otherwise we will go out of the cup. Okay, change of formation. We're going to go through at the back because we've currently got our fullbacks far too back here and uh, Darren Gibson going too far out wide. So we're going to go to a more structured formation. Hopefully this will work um, with basically three at the back and uh, we're going with four, uh, a 3 4 one, two. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can now get ourselves a goal. There's 20 minutes to go now, uh, but just got to create some more chances. they being a little bit um, relaxed, I think, really, in the opening stages. Dwayne Defoe on to Peter Crouch. The first time Peter Crouch has actually got involved in this game so far. Frustrating for him because he's not got any service, so I can't really blame him, to be honest. Uh, but really just uh, not got on the ball whatsoever. We've barely been in there half since the changes were made. Um, so yeah, a little bit disappointing the way we've responded. Yanazai, good luck for Peter Crouch with that ball through. Peter Crouch can't quite win it, and again, the Stoke City defence just managed to <laughs> just about clear it in the end, uh, into the 90th minute. I'm more disappointed about the way we've played since going down. It's not been good enough performance at all. Peter Crouch in the middle, though. Oh, he has to win that. He really has to win that one. A great opportunity, and that will probably be it, I think. Yeah, we've gone out of the cup. It's a 1-0 loss to Stoke. Like I was just saying, um, I'm not so disappointed with the, the fact we've gone out. Obviously, it's not good, um, but it's the way we've gone out. We've not really put up a fight. We've barely done anything in that second half. Really poor second half in terms of chances created. Stoke City deserving to go through, and quite rightly, their stats are, are showing the amount of possession they had. That second half was complete dominance from them. We very have very, very few chances, even though we've come out with more opportunities than them. Certainly did not feel like it. Uh, Leeds go out to Spurs, unlucky, 2-1 uh, in that one. That's a little bit disappointing that they've gone out but we've gone out too so um yeah a bit good to do out that one because we've not really put up a fight there we've kind of gone out the cup a little bit too easy there but as the football cliche goes uh, we can now focus on the league so that's a, a positive of sorts and uh, yeah we are going to get with some player drills here we're going to go with the exact same five um, players or the five drills that we were doing over the last few weeks hopefully get ourselves some improvements through Asora and Wilson Asora's got like nine overalls this season so far pretty ridiculous um, only one or two stats going up this week not so much growth might have to look to change that round because he seems to be doing well on, in terms of like the, the grades that they're getting but the growth is pretty sort of minimal at the moment, so we might have to look to change that. Okay, on straight on to the game against Everton now in the league. It's a week later here, and we've got this is the side we're going with basically. Tom Heaton's gonna start in goal. My Keo there at right back, Gilabodji and Kimbemba as my two centre backs. And we've got Moreno as my left back, we've got Paradez and Catamol starting at CDM, Lenz on the left hand side, Fry on the right hand side with Kazri in behind Jermaine Defoe. This is the bench we've gone with, a few changes here and there, I was disappointed a little bit with Yanazai uh, in the last game, so he comes off, uh, but we do still have some good options on the bench uh, if we would like to use him. A few bigger names missing out as well, so uh, we do have quite a big squad on this career mode, unlike the Monaco career mode where we are struggling a little bit for players. On this, we actually have a lot of players, especially in centre mid, we've got loads of centre mids, so um, yeah, a lot of players miss out quite a lot of the time. Uh, but Let's crack on with this game against Everton. You can see we're currently third in the league after a little slump in form recently, as we kind of expected, to be honest. We had such a good start to the season. Uh, it was inevitably going to happen at some stage. And, uh, yeah, let's crack on with the game against Everton straight away. Okay, here we go. Another away match to play in today's episode at Goodison Park this time round. I'm hoping for a better performance in general for the team. We need to create some more chances. Our first half was actually pretty good in the last game. It was the second half I was more disappointed with. We kind of just rolled over and let them win in the end, and that's obviously not good enough at all for me um, so I need to improve and uh, hopefully we can do I think this team's uh, a little bit better on paper than the one we had out before and I need better performances from our wingers as well we've been underperforming I think in that sense recently uh, despite us playing pretty well with them um, at the start of the season in particular Fry looks a really really good signing when we br first brought him in uh, but since then hasn't really played as well as he has uh, in, in the past or when he first came in so hoping he can do that in today's game uh, got Fry running forward here onto Kasri Fry still making a run. 
Can we pick anybody out? Lens on the edge of the box. Lens, it's 1-0. And it uses all of my wingers there in that move. Lens scoring early on, seven minutes in. What a finesse into the top right-hand corner. And it was uh, originally Fry that started the attack, played onto Kasri, and eventually uh, my other winger scored. And uh, he was playing inside a little bit there, Lens. Uh, Kasri goes over to the left-hand side, plays it back to him, unmarked. Just finesses it, uses the centre-back there just to guide it round him into the back of the net. It's 1-0 and we're seven minutes in. Fry coming inside to shoot, gets blocked and I'll go out for a corner. Good opportunity here, 25 minutes in. Not loads of chances so far, but looking the better of the two teams. Good header, but uh, not quite directed towards goals. A shame there's no one at the back post to make more of that opportunity. Uh, from post header there, I think from Gilabodji. Jermaine Defoe, look for that ball through to Catamol, he's made the run, Lee Catamol, oh, he's got to pick out one of the corners there, saved by the goalkeeper, not surprisingly really, he made it very comfortable for him in the end, disappointing strike from the set, yeah, from the CDM, going forward well though, Lee Catamol in that position, shame he couldn't do more with it, Kimbemba there, that's a, that's a shot, believe it or not, um, with his weaker foot, ugh. Jermaine Defoe through to Fry. Good opportunity to play it back to Jermaine Defoe. And it should be 2-0 Catamol. Oh my days. Kasri got to be there. Not offside as well. Panics for a second. Finally the ball finds the back of the net. It's a few minutes before half time. Kasri gets the second goal this time. Goes from creator to finisher there does Kasri. Just has to put it in over an empty goal basically. Just over the line uh, from a couple of yards out. And it is now 2-0. Great news for us to get the second goal. Needed that second goal desperately. And I thought we weren't going to get it. The way that that ball just kind of got sprayed around the box there. A few good opportunities to make it 2-0. Eventually though the ball uh, gets over the line and goes for a goal. So it's 2-0 and like I say it's just a minute or so from half time now. And it's a good, good sort of time to score really and get a second goal. Uh, just to give us a more comfortable lead. It's half time, it's 2 0 still. I'm going to look to go into the second half with the exact, the exact same team here. Try and build on the 2 0 advantage that we've managed to get ourselves and uh, hopefully add to the score. I need to get Jermaine Defoe some more goal. He's not scored in what feels like a little while now. And it even says on his current sort of morale or whatever, whatever you want to call it that he's at, at the moment doubting himself a little bit, doubting his abilities, which uh, is a little bit strange, but it's the case apparently for him at the moment. So we need to get him some goals to stop doubting himself and uh, hopefully uh, increase his goal tally for the season. Ever so have started strongly there, but Barclay just gave the ball away at the last second. And uh, yeah, needs to look to try and get ourselves a third goal just to uh, try and cement the three points. Oh, good head on there to Kasri. Kasri on the left-hand side. Good luck to try and get it across for Jermaine Defoe. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper by their own defender. And uh, that was a very close to a, a third goal for us in this game. Jermaine Defoe unable to make any contact with it, but nearly bundled in the back of the nets by their own player. A uh, very strange opportunity there for us, but nearly a third goal. Going to continue to push, and this time we pushed a bit too far because the ref gives a foul. Okay, first two changes now. Indong and Asura to come on. There's 20 minutes to go here. Paradez and Kasri to come off. Jermaine Foe is going to play as a centre attack in mid uh, for the remainder of this game. Unless, I would say, I decide to bring on Crouch or something uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but let's wait and find out how he gets on. Hopefully those changes will improve things. Maybe a chance for us to get a third goal if we can on the break. And, uh, yeah, just going to see how Jermaine Defoe gets on with the Soro in front of him this time round. Uh, trialling this just before the Man City game, I would be tempted to start a Soro, give us a little bit more presence up front. Uh, ball going through there, nearly managed to find his way through there in Dom. Good chance, and it's 2-1. It's all come for a poor goal kick out there. Is it Fiona's Mori that's ended up getting the goal? I think it is. Just so disappointed the way we've just given them the ball straight from the goal kick, trying to play out from the back, and it has really backfired. 2-1, and there's 15 minutes to go. They could well get themselves an equaliser, but we're going to make sure that we just don't let that happen. Got to go away with the three points here. Yes, go on in Dong. Come on, the fresh legs here, bursting forward. Gonna look for Lens, he needs to play it across, how can you get a pass so wrong, he's just next to you. Jermaine Defoe will go for a cross now, into that post, and not quite won by Lens, and cleared. Lens still go with this left hand side, no options in the box at the moment, but he waits for a Soro. God, gotta surely get a better connection with that. Really good chance for him in the end, it's just a very comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Gets turned far too easily there. God, I thought Thunas Mori was going to get a second goal of the match for him. Into the 19th minute, there's not much longer left here. Need another runner to try and hit them on the break. 
Lens waiting for a Soro, still waiting for him to make the right run. How difficult is it just to run past the defender? Luckily, though, we've managed to get ourselves the three points. Just managed to cling on there to the 2-1 win, and we'll happily take those three points against Everton. Fairly balanced game, I felt, um, but we obviously just took our chances a little bit more. A little bit disappointed again with the parts of the second half, uh, but the first half, based purely on that, we do deserve to get ourselves three points. And uh, we'll wait and see where that leaves us in the league table. And um, we are top of the league, but not everyone else has played yet, so I'm, I am expecting that to change pretty quickly uh, when we go crashing back down to earth. There's a lot of teams around us that haven't actually played. In fact, we've probably played the most games in the league by the looks of it. Uh, onto some player development. I think we're going to change things around. Not so happy with how we did last week. Although, saying that, this week looks to be a bit more um, positive, have a bit more potential uh, of players going up to the next overall. So we will keep them in front of the week, uh, even though I did promise to get rid of them and change them round. And uh, this week, they have finally pulled through and got themselves up to the next overall. Osora going up to 73, Wilson going up to 59, and are not too far off the halfway point to the 60 mark now, Wilson. And uh, that is great news for us. We will see a couple of days just to kind of get an update on the league table. Okay, so league table update. We're now down to second, as we expected. Arsenal in first place. Who would have thought it? 52 points. That's an average of two points a game there. Quick maths for you. Uh, from the 26 matches that were played, we could well drop down. In fact, we probably will drop down to third yet again. Uh, still five points in front of Manchester United, but uh, Chelsea with two games in hand. Probably going to overtake us, I'd imagine. On to some emails and uh, anything particularly important. Some of them not on track. Is this the same one about the wages? It is. We're never going to be able to decrease them. It's a stupid target. And uh, on to some of the youth academy players that we've been scouting. I'm going to be pretty strict to the ones that I allow to join us. So uh, that's why I'm getting rid of ones that we won't we won't be signing up. Some fairly decent potential ones. Uh, we will just be keeping the ones that have kind of got potential of sort of 90-ish. Um, so yeah, we're going to also read this email from Manone. He's can play back his game time. I think he's actually played a little bit more than I expected, to be honest. He's had a couple of games in the Cup, uh, but obviously not playing too much in the league at the moment. But on to the final game of today's episode. It's against Manchester City, and as usual, we want to try and get ourselves three points. We want to try and get revenge for the first game of the season, I think it was, where we played against them. Pretty sure it ended 3-2 in that match, um, and I think Man City had 10 men. Oh no, it was us that had 10 men, maybe. Um, and we were playing really, really well, and we just didn't get anything from the game. So a little bit disappointed, but uh, hopefully we can, like I say, get revenge on that match in today's episode. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with the game. Let's change around the team a little bit. Uh, I think we might try something a little bit different for today's game. And this is how we're going to go with for the game against Manchester City. It's obviously a change formation. We're going to go to a 4-1-4-1 for today's game. And we're trying a couple of different things out. Tom Heaton's going to start in goal. Gomez at right back. Kone and Gilles again at centre back. Charlie Taylor is my left back this time around. Paddy McNair just sitting in front of the defence. With Kessie and Kasri playing as centre mids. Uh, and each of going to play as a left mid. Yeah, a um, little bit unorthodox, but we're going to go with it anyway. And Lens on the right-hand side uh, with Jermaine Foe starting up front again. Just gives a bit more high telling in each of in the team. Uh, and the only way to, I want to try and fit him in is by playing as a left mid. So we're going to give it a go, see how it works. Um, and this is a match I've gone with. Plenty of other options on there, um, as you can see. Uh, obviously, if an HP doesn't work up uh, on the left-hand side, we could stick him up front. We could just take him off and bring on someone like Yanazai. That would be the obvious thing to do. Uh, but we'll wait and see as the game goes on. Let's crack on with things. Okay. So here we go for the final game of today's episode at the Stadium of Light. Finally a home game for us to finish things off on. Hopefully those tactical changes that I've made for this game pay off. Obviously playing Kazri in a deeper role as well uh, will be a little bit different for us. But just to give us a little bit more sort of defensive um, solidity I suppose in the side. So hopefully it works um, and we'll be interested to see how an each we gets on on the left hand side. Uh, but yeah let's crack on with the game and uh, see how we get on. Oh, good chance. Sané's got to finish it off. It's on his favoured foot as well. What a chance. Seven minutes in. And again, just uh, not quite good enough defensively. Good run through there, though, from Leroy Sané. Should make it 1-0. Man City starting strong. They've also got a very good team out as well for this match. Much stronger than the last one they played us with. And uh, that is quite obvious by the way they started. Paddy McNair going to play a throw in here to Anichibi. Go for a cross. Into the back post, Oof, a little bit different of an entry to putting in the cross. Uh, usually you'd expect him to be in the box. And the aim hasn't been to get him crossing balls in. It's supposed to be happening on the other side of the pitch with these crosses. Oh, oh my days. Need to be all celebrate because it's gone in. Wow, oh my god. The cross has worked, but not as expected. It's gone in the back of the net and it's an own goal. Is that Vincent Company? What a finish. What a finish. Was it Jermaine Defoe that he was marking? Or was it maybe Lenz at the back post? I can't quite remember. And it's actually, I think, Kazri who gets in the box, tries to get there. 
Company does the finish for him. What an own goal that is. And we're winning this game 1-0. Completely out of the blue. Probably undeserved on the balance of play. Man City being the better team so far. We'll take it though. However, the goal goes in the back of the net. Kessie on to an HB. There we go. He's got plenty of pace and space to run into as well. And HB coming inside here. Look for the pass through. Kessie couldn't quite run through with it though. And a good opportunity to throw it across here. It gets blocked. Struggling to try and break them down here a little bit. Man City needing company to step up and get us another goal. Oh, Kessie wins it back. And it must have been 2-0 there, but saved by Bravo. The first thing he's saved um, ever, I think, in his Manchester City career. 33 minutes in, and um, could have been a foul, I thought, at first. But uh, saved there right at Bravo. No surprise on that one. Counter to deliver, and can he find Jula Bodji? He can. Oh, headed off the line towards Defoe, and skies it on his left foot. 35 minutes in. Disappointing, actually, for Dwayne Defoe, because he connects with it really well, but it just goes over the bar. Sterling again beating Charlie Taylor, going for the cross and out for a Manchester City corner. A few minutes before half-time here, Sterling beating Charlie Taylor every single time with his pace. Doing really good stuff on that right-hand side. Going to try and pick him out there as well. Luckily, headed away by an Ichibi. Sterling shoots, good block there from Gillibaldi, much, much better. And it's half-time. We've got to half-time with a 1-0 lead. We're going to change things tactically because I think there's been some really, really good things. The, the formations worked perfectly for us in this match. Uh, Man City struggling to break us down most times. But there's a couple of gaps that are appearing occasionally. And we've got to try and plug those here at half-time. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring on, bring on Moreno and we're going to take off Jermaine Defoe. Strange change, but we're going to do it anyway. Charlie Taylor's going to play as our left mid. And each be going to go up front here. And uh, yeah, Jermaine Defoe struggled to get in the match. Again, crowded out by the two centre-backs. And uh, yeah, he needs the ball at his feet a little bit more. It's just not that sort of match really for Jermaine Defoe. Um, so we're going to go with this, uh, give us a bit more height up front and obviously go for crosses essentially and uh, hope that if we need to be doesn't score them, maybe company will. Who knows? Let's wait and find out how the second half gets on. Come on, Lens. Use your pace there. Up against Gundogan. Company get in the box. Oh, he's chasing us down. And each of nowhere to be seen. Can we get a cross in for him here though? And each of was going for it too far away in the end. And Moreno will lose the ball to Raheem Sterling. That's not the reason why I brought you on. I brought you on to deal with Raheem Sterling. Um, might bring Peter Crouch on. Could be a good game for him to be on the pitch. Oh, go on, Kone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just turn and shoot. What's with the back heel? Okay, final two changes now. Peter Crouch and Darren Gibson to come on. So we are going to go with uh, an even taller striker up front. Hopefully a bit more heading ability than an each be. Gibson will come off for Kasri. He's getting a little bit tired. And I think we're just going to bring on some fresh legs through Gibson. Uh, just under 30 minutes to go. So there's still a little bit of a, a match left here. Uh, still plenty of time for Man City to come back into this game. And uh, obviously we need to try and defend. Um, continue to defend pretty well. We have actually done quite well so far in this game. i um, just going to clear this opportunity if we can. Go on, Kessie. Just hold off John Stones. <sighs> Hating these sort of situations. Usually just turn and score. We could be here all day. What the hell is he doing? Why does this happen? And he does turn, but he doesn't score because it's John Stones. Lenz wins it back off Pablo Zabletta, who was daydreaming. Lenz, oh, just played to Peter Crouch. He gets there eventually. David Silva can't catch up. Crouch smashes it home. It's 2-0. Peter Crouch, the substitute, scores the second goal. Desperately needed it. He's only been on the pitch seven minutes, and he smashes that one in the back of the net. Brilliant stuff. Should have found him much earlier. But again, we, you know, he got there eventually. That's the main thing. Uh, but a good ball through there. I'm not too sure who it was actually with the pass. Might have been Paddy McNair. But look at that for a finish. Smashes it past Bravo. No saving it. And uh, Peter Crouch continues his um, a few decent goals that he scored against Man City in real life. Um, and uh, that is one to add to the collection. It's 2-0 and we're 70 minutes in. It's got to be a win from here, you'd imagine. Really set up very well with this formation. It suited us massively for this game. And uh, we just managed to capitalise on their mistakes. Winning this game 2-0. Oh, what a pass. John Stone's now playing as a striker. Getting through. What's he like at shooting? Not great. Hits the water bottle. And out for a goal kick. Go on, Peter Crouch. Oh, he's played it onto Lenz. It's a chipped pass. He's going to have to bring that one down. Peter Crouch now has to get into the box. Can he keep up with Lenz's pace? Lenz into Crouch. Oh, so close. Couldn't quite get it in the back of the net. Still opportunity here for Gomez to cross. Crouch again in there. Doesn't quite manage to get on the end of it yet again. Just waiting for the perfect cross for him. Unable to try and convert to that headed chance here. Gomez on to Peter Crouch. Seems to be much better with his feet than I was expecting, actually. Kessie here to shoot. And, yeah. 
That's just caught out in the air. And we've won the game. That's a fantastic result for us. 2-0. Um, an interesting episode, really. Going out to Stoke, losing 1-0 to Stoke City, beating Man City 2-0. Um, that's FIFA for you, really. Uh, but you can see on the stats, we've had the exact same amount of shots and shots on target. Possession-wise, though, City dominating, as you'd expect. Difference is, we took our chances. That's the main thing that we've uh, found from today's game. A really, really good performance where we've just kind of capitalised on the mistakes. It's exactly what we set out to do. And, uh, yeah, we pretty much punished them for holding on to the ball for too long. It's three points, and that should be really vital to moving us further the league table, I'd imagine. Two points behind Arsenal, who are still top, and uh, Chelsea still have two games in hand. If they win them both, then obviously they go above us. And to finish off today's episode, we are going to get on with some more player drills. Kessie comes in instead of one of the Asoro drills uh, for this week, just because uh, Asoro didn't look likely to go up on many of his stats. So decided to bring in Kessie, see how he gets on. We're going to try and train up over the next few weeks and uh, hope that we can get his overall going up. And this week we do have a couple of attributes going up, but uh, Wilson getting very, very close to 60 overall now. That'll be a great achievement for him uh, in the first few uh, weeks that he's been training for us. Look at that, he's got eight overalls already. Really good potential, and uh, hopefully we can see him get into the team a little bit more next season. So that's everything for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If we could try and hit 75 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, maybe you just haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'll be absolutely fantastic. Click that red button below, and I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode of the Sunlunker Remote. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.